Hi and welcome to this Full State Masterclass. Thanks very much for joining me today. You're here because you have an interest in hacking into the flow state. You're here because you're maybe stuck in a loop and you can't sort of break yourself free from it. You're here because you have recurring injuries and illnesses that seem to get in your way from being able to trigger flow and improve your skill, your sport or your profession. And you're here because you feel that there is some irrational fears blocking you from really achieving what you want to achieve in your skill, in your sport, in your profession. And you know by accessing the flow, this is exactly how you're going to capitalize and greatly improve in what you're doing. So what we're going to talk about in this masterclass today is a number of things that I'm going to split up over four parts. And I'm going to read through the parts for you just now so you can get an idea of what we're going to discuss. So in part one, we're going to discuss what actually happens during the flow state. We're going to bring in the science of the flow state. We're going to talk about the brain waves. We're going to talk about transient hyperfrontality. We're going to talk about the functions of the, of the neurotransmitters and hormones during flow. We're going to talk about that sweet spot during flow. And we're going to talk about flow coherence. Okay, then when we go on to part two, we're going to discuss and talk about and I'm going to introduce you to your master control system. You're going to learn what is, what is it and how to work with it to capitalize and get yourself into flow. We are going to talk about the most common obstacle in the way. We're going to talk about unconscious programming. Um, and we're going to talk about the science of fear which is a biggie, and we're going to talk about how to eliminate that fear by hacking yourself directly into the flow state, okay? Then in part four, in part, uh, part three and part four, we're going to discuss uh, tips and tools for you to really excel. So you're going to get uh, two tips, two really powerful, strong, simple tips in part three. And then when we go into part two, uh, sorry, part four, we're going to discuss three of the most things for you to do, the three most do's to get yourself into the flow state and really express yourself without the fear, okay? And then at the end of part four, we're going to talk about five key tools for you to be able to trigger yourself into flow and use those tools to train yourself to access flow, okay? So without any more of my talking, we're going to dive straight in to part one now, okay? Join me. This is what happens during a flow state. You begin your flow state with the release of norepinephrine and dopamine. Raises the arousal of your sympathetic nervous system. Your heart rate increases appropriate to the task at hand. Focus is tightened and pattern recognition ignites. Simultaneously, your breathing aligns with the arousal of the sympathetic nervous system by stimulating the parasympathetic nervous system, thereby promoting the release of nitric oxide, which opens up your blood vessels to promote flow of neurotransmitters and hormones. You have begun the coherence of the autonomic nervous system, the push and pull of the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems. The electrical signals of your brain waves move from beta, 12 to 40 cycles per second, towards alpha, which is 8 to 12 cycles per second, giving you the ability to link ideas without internal obstacles and filters blocking your flow. Your prefrontal cortex at this point begins to lessen giving you a sense of time distortion, effortlessness, and the self dissolves into the task. You are in a transient hyperfrontality, where your inner critic has also shut off, opening you up to full potential. Your brain releases endorphins in an adamine, giving you the ability to dissolve away distress and pain. Simultaneously, an adamine boosts your lateral thinking, allowing you to solve problems in indirect and creative ways. As you flow deeper, your brain waves move to a theta, which is four to eight cycles per second, giving you enhanced relaxation and your intuition increases. You enter the sweet spot, the alpha theta bridge, the flow state of performance where your brain waves are purring between 7.8 cycles per second. A growing body of data is pointing to the exact frequency of 7.83 
cycles per second, which connects you directly to the Earth's magnetic field. You are in perfect harmony with the task at hand, and your heart is in a coherent stance between the nervous systems. You're in the heart of optimal performance. Concluding the experience, you have oxytocin and serotonin, giving you that afterglow, feeling of trust, peace, sociability, and well-being. As you begin to digest the experience, you have just experienced. Okay, so there you have it. Some of the information that you have in part one, you maybe are familiar of before in the other training courses that we did, but I just wanted to streamline everything and I'm pretty sure that most of you will find that the 7.83 hertz is pretty, pretty new. And with that, you will really, well, science is really sort of drawing everything in now. We're becoming more specific in what we are targeting during flow, okay? Now, we're going to go into part two now. Part two is pretty cool, pretty powerful. Come and join me and you'll see why. To further understand how to maintain and hack the flow state is to understand and work with your autonomic nervous system. Your autonomic nervous system, or ANS, is your master control that regulates your body's functions in, in maintaining a homeostasis, which in turn creates balance, efficiency in your body and mind. Your ANS has two main branches, which are like our on and off switches. The first one is your sympathetic nervous system, also known as your fight or flight, or your arousal system. The second is your parasympathetic nervous system, also known as your rest and digest, or feed and breed system. So if we take your heart as an example, the sympathetic nervous system stimulates, speeds up your heart rate, while the parasympathetic slows your heart rate. We can observe your sympathetic and parasympathetic coherence by observing your heart rate variability. During the flow state, your autonomic nervous system shows both sympathetic and parasympathetic systems are at work. Neurologist Dr. Andrew Newberg underlines that there appears to be a push and pull between these two systems. In flow and your ability to be in flow, we must attain a coherent system that allows for a dance between systems, a push and pull that guides you into flow. The obstacle in the way. The reason why you are not finding consistency in hacking the flow state is because you are not working with your autonomic nervous system. Every person has a dominant system. Some may be more naturally sympathetic dominant, while others are more parasympathetic dominant. If you are naturally more sympathetic and eat, drink and exercise to further stimulate this system, you are not entering the flow state. In fact, you are walking further and further away from flow. When your ANS system is out of balance, your brain waves sit at 12 to 40 cycles per second and you express this by having an unproductive, fear-based personality filled with stress and anxiety. In your brain, you have an area called the limbic system and sitting sneakily in there is your amygdala. When your amygdala is agitated, you express a fearful, stressful personality. The fear-based response, better known as the stress response, begins with a sensitive amygdala, which is first to receive the threat of a stressful situation. The amygdala emotionally interprets the visual and sounds as danger and sends instant notifications to the hypothalamus. The master gland known as the hypothalamus is El Capitano. It says jump and you say how high. Your hypothalamus communicates to the rest of your body through the autonomic nervous system, controlling your body's functions such as breathing, blood pressure, heart rate, dilation and constriction of your blood vessels, bronchioles and the homeostasis of your organs and glands. It's in this fear-based personality that you open yourself up to making mistakes and in some cases life-threatening errors. Not only that, but more and more scientific studies have shown that you lose intelligence in this fearful, stressful-based personality. This really underlines that when you're in this state, you can't find the solutions. You can only see problems. Illness, injuries are common, and you express a static life locked into this fear, both consciously and unconsciously. So there you have it. 
your autonomic nervous system is critical for you to know and you can understand why and an imbalance in the autonomic nervous system is just going to further enhance and deepen your uh, the shackles around you holding you into that state of fear or unconsciously triggering fear or being easily led into unproductive uh, habits that do nothing apart from keep you further and further away from being in flow. So learning to work with your autonomic nervous system is a must do and finding out what is your dominant is a must must do for you okay. So into part three and I'm going to give you those two powerful tips we spoke about in the beginning. Come and join me. The biggest tip I can give you right now is to focus on finding flow between the tasks you want to get flow in. What do I mean by that, Wilson? Well, the vast majority of us are overthinking. Chances are you are overstressing on finding perfection in your skill you're undertaking. Once you learn to maintain a stress-limiting day-to-day lifestyle, you will dramatically promote a state of flow in your skills. Pay attention to the quality of your parasympathetic stimulation. In other words, make sure that you are looking to rest and digest and recover in between tasks. This doesn't mean you need to lie down and sleep after each task, but it can be as simple as scheduling time gaps between meetings and walking at a smooth, comfortable pace. And this is the biggie. Consciously performing calming full body pendulum breaths to stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system. Breathe as if you're breathing throughout your full body. Sounds simple and it can be, but when you are glued to finding results, this glue can be counterproductive and take you further away from hacking the optimal performance state, from hacking the flow state. So there you have it. I mean, those tips may seem quite simple for you, but implementing one of those two will really skyrocket your ability to get yourself into the flow state. The first tip where you're really just sort of finding time for yourself, gaps in between things are critical and finding gaps in between and how to find a subtlety and flow between those gaps is really what's going to allow you to excel. You, you are really allowing yourself to become more parasympathetic when you're in that. And also complementing the, the gaps in between by using the full body breathing is, for me, one of the most powerful tools that we have at our arsenal to be able to get ourselves into flow. Okay, now come and join me in part four here and we're going to give uh, the complete solution about what to do, how to summarize all that information and, and how to train that information to excel and flow. Once you align with your system's natural cycles and train your mind and body to do so, you will hack the flow state. You will be able to break free from the fear-based personality you're currently expressing. You will enter a coherence in your autonomic nervous system, eliminating fear, stress, anxiety, so that you can express the flow state without personal internal barriers. How do you do this? One, find out your dominant autonomic nervous system. Two, consistently practice a coherence in your autonomic nervous system. Three, consistently practice flow triggering and maintaining exercises and meditations. And this is exactly what we can do together inside the elite flow chain. We will use EEG home devices so that you can practice building your familiarity on how it feels to be in the flow state frequency of 7 to 8 cycles per second. HRV used to practice a coherence in the autonomic nervous system and we'll use this. Your HRV score will tell us whether you are entering the parasympathetic state correctly and we can adapt your training and lifestyle commitments to get the best possible flow state results. Flow nutrition, nutritional assessments to see what your personal flow nutrition requirements are. How you fuel your body plays a massive role in maintaining a coherence in your autonomic nervous system. Coaching, all this is pulled together and personally guided by me, Wilson, by personally designing tailored programs for your own flow state requirements. I will optimize your recovery, tracking and adapting according to your lifestyle, profession, skill or sport. So just to recap inside the elite flow chain, you're gonna get the coaching, the heart rate variability monitoring and coaching, 
the EEG monitoring and coaching, nutrition monitoring and coaching, and your autonomic nervous system monitoring and coaching. And this really is the full package for getting yourself hacked into the flow state. Now this is important. This is a powerful group of flow state hackers hungry for personal success. It's designed for people who have a serious desire to excel in whatever they do. Okay, so there you have it. You saw, you got the three tips there. You saw the tools that I use inside the Elite Flow Chain to get you into the flow state. All the information that you learned in this class is valuable tools for you to trigger yourself into the flow state. You can take that information as it is today and it will be very, very valuable for you on a, on a level of getting yourself induced into flow. However, if you are looking to really skyrocket everything, I would capitalize and get involved with the Elite Flow Chain. You see the offer we have here? It is a lot for that will you know produce the results that you'll be looking for and that is to get you into flow okay thanks very much for joining me in this class today and i'll look forward to seeing you and other classes in the future ciao